has just gone through the Jacksonville, Arkansas area, and we still have a tornado emergency as this moves northward and eastward. Now, it's north of I-40 and southeast of Highway 167, but there are still a lot of people in harm's way. Yeah, we're, we have so many areas to focus on right now, especially in those communities that are going uh, just to the northeast of Jacksonville, because unfortunately we've had a tornado touchdown in Jacksonville. And then, as you mentioned, the storm behind this one, that has now been under a severe thunderstorm warning that is going to be going through the Little Rock area. Yeah, and what adds to the danger of that storm as it moves into Little Rock is the homes and structures that were damaged and people without shelter now yeah. and who are outside looking at damage or might be stuck on roads because that tornado went across I-40, you know, all kinds of things that could happen here. And I'm most concerned about people without shelter dealing with lightning. Yeah, we saw some of the folks walking down the streets. Of course, we have emergency management and fire rescue that's coming in right now. And we have yet another storm that's going to be rolling over this same area. So and this then supercell this coming line. in from the west. And look at all of that lightning. So we're looking at North Little Rock. Once again, you'd think after that damaging supercell with the tornado went through, okay, we'd get a break. Well, it was very short-lived because now there's some threatening weather about to move into that area with the west side of Little Rock lighting up once again. Yeah, geez, and this uh, this supercell uh, ahead of it right now that we have been tracking has a very dangerous history of touching down there in parts of Little Rock as well as Jacksonville. We've had multiple reports of cars flipped over there on 440, the loop there, as well as debris uh, that has been in the area. Even some minor injuries are being reported in this area. So again, uh, this is going to continue to go through some of those uh, towns as it continues up. What is that, 167 here? Yeah, and look at the reflectivity of the debris ball. Uh, that is just a, a classic signature. Uh, just on the reflectivity, you can tell that we've got a tornado on the ground uh, producing damage about to move across Highway 321. That is in between Interstate 40 and Highway 167. Yes, this is more rural, but it's not like there aren't people and roads and communities out there. So all of this area, and including Highway 167, uh, that goes northward and eastward. Mm -hmm. If you're in Beebe or in Haley, this is a tornado emergency. And here we are at 53 minutes past the hour, and we got maybe 10 minutes before Beebe and maybe 20 minutes before Walker. I mean, how long has this been? We started this in Hot Springs. Uh, this guy's been back, going... Back in Glenwood, even yeah. southwest of Hot Springs, where this supercell got going. Supercell still started, and that was uh, just, what, a little before 2 o'clock, and now we're an hour later, and this guy is still tracking and still holding strength. Unfortunately, uh, looking at a pretty massive tornado that has been continuing to touch down in, in some populated areas. Yeah, so just to be clear, Little Rock is now under a severe thunderstorm warning for the next supercell that has moved yeah, in A different behind. storm, a right. uh, new one that's coming in. Right, it isn't as well defined, it doesn't have the rotation, but it could still be producing not only the danger of lightning, which is life-threatening in and of itself, but the damaging winds and the large hail. So it's still a good idea, a really good idea, not to be out on the roads during this storm. Yeah, and uh, you made a, a good point, too, that the structures have already been significantly damaged. We're getting reports of shopping centers, homes that have significant damage from this first supercell. So where do you go now? Uh, so again, it, when there is multiple uh, su supercells or multiple thunderstorms coming in, you got to have that plan B right now because, hey, it, it may not be safe now to stay in your home or wherever you were, and now you've got to seek right. shelter again very quickly. I know, yeah, it, 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 I can't imagine being in a situation, yeah. my home or my business or whatever, or, or my school, my church has just been damaged, but... Life safety is number one, and you do not want to be in an exposed building uh, yes. when lightning is coming through. Yeah, or outside. I know everyone wants to go out and see what's happened in the area, but look at all these lightning strikes as this is coming in. So again, not tornado warm, but certainly bringing its own danger. So we have multiple hazards to deal with, and each one of them in their own way can be life-threatening. And lightning is one of those that in this situation takes on an even additional dangers because of people being outside or surveying damage or whatever it is uh, they might be doing. There, now, there is general rotation with this one. This is a, you know, a rotating thunderstorm. It's a supercell. It's just not as well defined. But again, the damaging winds, the large hail, and the lightning are still something you need to be off the roads and into any kind of nearby structure. You know, if I was uh, in a damaged neighborhood, and if I could find somebody who's got a car that isn't damaged, get into that car. 
do something to protect yourself from the lightning. And as we're tracking this severe thunderstorm warning going through Little Rock, also want to continue to track this tornado warning as we're watching uh, more rotation. And, and this has just gone through Jacksonville. Really want to give folks a heads up uh, that is, as this continues to roll off to the northeast so quickly, this has been an observed large tornado moving through. Uh, so again, 38 here, just south of 167. Uh, these are areas that if this is familiar or in your community, you need to seek shelter immediately. Yeah, so where Highway 31 and Highway 38 intersect, it looks like this is going to go right over that area uh, south of Beebe. That's up near Highway 167 and way to the north of Interstate 40. But downstream, saw community Georgetown. Georgetown. You're not under the warning yet. But remember, before Little Rock went under warning, we're trying to give you an idea of what could be coming. It's time to get off the roads in Georgetown, Arkansas, because in about... 25, 30 minutes, you could have a tornado coming through or nearby your community. Yeah, and there's a Griffithville 318, Andrews 324, again, a Georgetown, as we mentioned. So if these are towns that ring a bell, you know someone that lives there, you live there yourself, you need to seek shelter immediately. We're trying to give you some lead time here. If these warnings continue, which they have, that this is going to continue to be a very dangerous situation moving forward. And, you know, thank goodness we have cell phones. One of the mm -hmm. benefits is you can call somebody who you know or think might be out on roads, out on country roads out in this area. We saw what happened in the Little Rock Metro where the tornado went across a part of Interstate 40 and there was traffic stopped in both directions because the damage had gone through. A lot of people were out on the roads. In a vehicle, under an underpass, those are really dangerous places to be. Urge anybody you can get a hold of to get off roads and get to a sturdy structure. Yeah, I mean, 